I entered this huge hall. Everything was covered in wood. And I opened this door and the room was full with people that I think I knew. And I thought to myself, I know that this is a dream. You're dreaming and realize that you're dreaming in a dream. That's always kind of like a tongue twister. Technically within sleep science, lucid dreaming occurs at the moment that you, the dreamer, understand that you're dreaming. In other words, you become aware that you're dreaming while you are in the act of the dream itself. You know, most of us have our entry level lucid dream. You're in the hospital being chased by warthogs. You just know like, wait a minute, this is so obscure. You say to yourself, I gotta be dreaming. But of course, most people will think of lucid dreaming as something much more than that, which is where you start to gain control over what it is that you're dreaming and you get to decide what you do in the dream. If you are able to carry that level of awareness, engage with the dream characters, ask questions, be curious about why they're there, what their purpose is. The first person I saw was my grandmother that had passed. And I said to her, oh, grandma, how are you doing? And she said, a little tired, but fine. And then I saw my aunt sitting on the side and she said, nobody told me there was something after you die. So how is lucid dreaming any different than normal dreaming? What we've discovered with brain scanning technology is that before the moment that you become lucid in your dream, that logical, rational part of your brain, which is normally deactivated as we are dreaming, starts to come back online again. And the moment that the prefrontal cortex becomes active seems to be the moment at which we start to gain lucid control over our dreams. And that makes perfect sense because when you don't have the prefrontal cortex active and engaged, you don't have logical, rational control. But as you get that part of your brain back online during the dream state, that's when you can enact willful, volitional control over this thing called dreaming. I see a lot of patients with insomnia. Anxiety causes insomnia. And I have a huge passion towards helping people with PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. When you see people suffering, scared to go to bed, they're scared about the dreams they could be having. And if something such as lucid dreaming can help these individuals, let's try it. But if someone uses a lucid dream to feel they can get control of a horrible situation, then that's great. And then I saw my mom. I gave her a big hug and I said, Mom, can you tell me what this whole thing about life and death's all about? My mom looked at me and said, you are here to learn how to love yourself and others. The dream is still very alive for me. So how can I recognize that I'm in a dream as I'm experiencing the dream real time? Look out for violations of typical world rules. So for example, let's say that you lean across and you try to flip the light switch, but the lights don't turn on and off despite you moving it. When those things happen, that's the moment at which you can start to think, is this the real world or is this the dream world?